Almost every piece of metal we use in our daily lives is an alloy, whether it's the wheels of our cars, the cutlery we eat with, or even the jewellery we wear. But what are alloys, and how are they made? Alloys are essentially mixtures of a base metal and one or more additional elements. Combining metals like this produces a material with very different properties to the individual metals on their own. And this technology isn't new. In fact, humans have been making and using alloys for thousands of years. The very earliest example is bronze, an alloy of copper and tin that started being produced around 5,000 years ago. Adding tin to the copper reduces the melting point and results in a stronger, harder product that's easier to cast and is better for turning into tools and weapons than copper on its own. After its discovery, the benefits of bronze meant that its use was so widely adopted that it gave its name to that era of human history, the Bronze Age. Another example of an alloy is solder, a low melting point alloy of lead and tin that's used to connect components on electronic circuit boards and to join copper pipes together around the house. And where strength is a priority, steel, which is a mixture of iron and carbon with trace amounts of a few other metals, is hard to beat. Alloying can also prevent metals from corroding. Stainless steel, which is made by mixing steel and chromium, is protected from corrosion by a thin layer of chromium oxide that forms on the surface. And because it won't rust, it can be used for anything from cutlery to car parts. Another important use of alloys today is in turbine blades for the jet engines that power the aeroplanes that take us on holiday. Nickel-aluminium alloys have been used for this purpose since Frank Whittle's earliest designs in the 1940s, because nickel is light and has a high melting point, meaning it can withstand the high temperatures inside the engine. The added aluminium also makes the alloy lighter and stronger. Aluminum lithium alloys. Key facts. 1. Lithium, the world's lightest metal, decreases the weight of aluminum while improving its strength toughness, corrosion resistance and forming characteristics of the alloy. 2. An advanced structural alloy comprised primarily of aluminum and lithium with traces of copper, zinc, manganese, magnesium, zirconium, iron. 3. An important material characteristic of the modern alloy alloy is the fatigue crack growth FCG, performance. This allows aircraft designers to use less material for the same level of safety margins. Physical properties 1. Sheet 2. Bar 3. Powder, aluminum lithium alloy, alloy, powder, spherical, with a maximum lithium content of 3%. watching. Hope you like it by Jerwin Ahina. In this video, we are going to talk about the characteristics of aluminum lithium alloys. We are going to discuss its structure, properties, processing, and its performance or application to further be familiar of these engineering material that could help us in our daily lives. Let us first discuss its structure. In this part of the video, we are going to talk about the atomic bond of this material, the arrangement or crystalline structure of its atoms, and how it is arranged in a unit cell. Aluminum atom has three valence electrons in its outer shell, while lithium atom has only one, and since both elements are metal, the atomic bond of this material is a metallic bond, which makes it strong and resistive to electricity and heat. This material is not amorphous, so its atoms are arranged in a pattern, which makes it have a crystalline structure. Its crystalline structure is FCC, 
or face-centered cubic, which makes the material dense and strong. In a unit cell, aluminum-lithium alloys are arranged the same way as pure aluminum. The difference is, the lithium atom stays at the corner of the unit cell. Beside, we could see the green spheres representing the lithium atoms. Aluminum lithium alloys, its performance. At the end of the presentation, you should able to determine why aluminum lithium alloys are more preferable than pure aluminum alloys. Performance. Pure aluminum has good appearance, good corrosion resistance, but low in strength, while aluminum lithium alloys are higher stiffness and higher strength, and also low in weight. Res resistance of fatigue cracking is also generally superior to standard 2000 and 7000 series aluminum alloys. Newer aluminum lithium alloys have improved corrosion resistance and greater toughness than their predecessors. These properties make aluminum lithium particularly suitable to any application where weight to strength ratio is critical and fatigue cracking is a concern. In this kind of application, the weight savings and performance improvements derived from using aluminum lithium alloys were essential to meet the operational requirements of this vehicle. One example is the external tank of NASA Space Shuttle. It was converted to the lower density aluminum lithium 2195 resulting directly to payload increases that were essential for the delivery of large components to the International Space Station. Aluminum lithium alloys have been developed primarily to reduce the weight of aircraft and airspace structures. More recently, they have been investigated for use in cryogenic application like liquid oxygen and hydrogen fuel tanks for airspace vehicles. The lower density aluminum lithium alloys were expected to reduce the weight and improve the performance of an aircraft. As you can see, these are the examples of cryogenic application, the hydrogen and oxygen fuel tanks used in aerospace vehicles. The principal disadvantages of peak strength aluminum lithium alloys are reduced ductility and fracture toughness in the short transverse direction, anisotropy of in-plane properties the need for cold work to attain peak properties and accelerated fatigue crack extension rates when cracks are microstructurally small.